Every year, about 100 of my brother and sister firefighters lose their life in the line of duty. I'd like to talk to you today about the time I decided I was not going to be one of those. You see, as firefighters, we go into incredibly dark, dangerous environments. We weigh 80 pounds of gear on our backs. We get disoriented. We lose track of our tools. And at the end of the day, no matter what happens, we have to solve the mission. We have to put that fire out. We have a saying that we can't call 912 after you call 911. We have to solve the problem no matter what happens. And one of the challenges, again, is that disorientation that occurs. And I remember six years ago lying on the couch, and I saw a special on TV about this incredible photoluminescent glow-in-the-dark technology that was used in the World Trade Towers. It helped the people find their way down as the firefighters found their way up. And I thought, what if I could take that same technology and apply it to firefighters? So I remember going down to my fire department and uh, sitting right there in my uh, apparatus base on the tailboard and thinking, what if I could take that same technology and help firefighters reduce disorientation? So I worked on a couple prototypes and I came up with this. A couple weeks later, I got to take my first fire and again go into that complete and total darkness. And my job was to rip the ceiling down so we could expose all that burning uh, area up in the roof. And I remember feeling one of my brother firefighters trying to take my helmet off. Not something that you really want to happen as you got ceiling tiles falling down. So I turned around and used some words that I probably shouldn't repeat today, but basically when I turned around and looked at him, I could see the green glow off of my helmet reflecting off of his mask, and his eyes were this big. And I basically said, well, bro, can we get the wet stuff on the red stuff and put this fire out and stop playing with my helmet, and then we can talk about it. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> so we knocked the fire down. I get outside in the parking lot, and before you know, all these other firefighters start coming up to me, and they said, you are the only thing we could see in the darkness, this incredible green light. What is this? And guys started throwing $20 bills at me. Well, I only had a couple prototypes. I didn't know what I was going to do, so I made up a couple more. And I had a full-time job uh, at a Fortune 500 company. As a volunteer firefighter, I worked on, you know, whenever I could uh, get availability. And I would drive around at nights and weekends and drive from fire station to fire station, selling the stuff out of the trunk of my car. After about six months, my fire chief sat me down. He said, Zach, you have something that is going to revolutionize and change the fire industry. you got to stop treating this as a hobby and get a little more serious. And I remember that night, one of the quotes from one of my favorite leaders of our time, Teddy Roosevelt. He said, when you're faced with a monumental decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. But the worst thing you can do is nothing. And so I went ahead and I refinanced my house. I maxed out my credit cards, took literally every penny that I owned, walked into the office of my company and told my boss that I was quitting to start my own job. And I remember her exact words. She said, Zach, being an entrepreneur is incredibly difficult. They fail. You, this is not going to work out. You've got a good thing here. Don't give it up. But I knew that her nor anybody else was going to get in the way of my dream of changing the world with this incredible technology. It wasn't until I was approached by a venture capital firm. They started saying, hey, we can take this to the next level, and not just for firefighters, but what if we could put this in a stairwell? So when the lights go out in the building, you see something like this. And before you know it, we raised over a million dollars in venture capital financing. And just a few weeks ago, I was recently called to testify in front of a congressional small business committee about how this technology can work. Um, really, it's been an incredible experience. Thank you very much. Well, this technology now is being used in exit signs. We have it in sports arenas. Actually, Procter & Gamble and General Electric, matter of fact, are starting to swap out some of their exit signs with our exit signs to save money on batteries and electricity so they don't have to worry about that maintenance. Well, enough of me talking about this stuff. Let's actually get a chance to play with it itself. So as the lights come down on me, I want everybody to reach into your pocket or your purse and pull out your mobile phone. I know somebody was probably texting already anyway, so you probably already got it out there. I want you to turn on the feature on your mobile phone that has the light. Everyone's got that, that little flashlight feature. With that light, I want you to reach in and grab your program. Okay, everyone get your program out. On the bottom right corner of that program, you're going to see a little piece of tape. I want you to take that light from your phone and rub it directly on top of that tape in the bottom right corner. So make sure the light is actually covering up. Rub it back and forth a little bit and hold it on there and don't move it up. What's happening right now is we're activating that incredible photoluminescent pigments, that incredible material. On the count of three, I'm going to ask everybody to turn their phones off and hold your program up in front of you so everybody can see it. Are we ready? One, two, three. Turn your phones off and hold up. Everyone put your lights off. Look at that incredible technology that we have out here that's bringing the light and the darkness of this room. 
Think about the things that we can do with this. Think about the things that can happen when you follow your dreams and how we can change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, you never know what happens when you follow your dreams and you bring lightness out of the dark. Thank you very much.